Copper is fluctuating today after reaching a seven month high on Wednesday. For copper prices. So is copper the new gold? Can you imagine that in today's high tech era, there's a material that's increasing in value faster than gold and oil? It's not what you typically associate with technological advancements. This exceptional substance has been quietly molding our digital landscape. If it were to disappear, our technological future would become more demanding and costly. So, what is this remarkable material? Since ancient times, copper has been an important resource for us. If we look into the Bronze Age, skilled blacksmiths used to combine copper with tin to create a valuable material called bronze. That was amazing at that time, and now, fast forward to today, you'll find copper everywhere. In your smartphones, blenders, and even cars. Almost nothing is made without copper. But what makes copper so special? The answer is simple. It's an excellent conductor of electricity and can be mixed with other materials to make stronger alloys. What truly sets copper apart, though, is its ability to be recycled multiple times, reducing the need for new mining. With that, copper also plays a significant role in achieving climate goals. After a year of the worldwide pandemic now, our most significant challenge is tackling climate change. Copper will play a vital role in achieving the climate goals. Copper, the most cost-effective conductor, is at the center of capturing, storing, and transporting this new energy. If we can't make significant progress in carbon capture and storage technology soon, our journey to achieving net zero emissions will heavily rely on electrification and renewable energy. Not only that, copper is also essential for a green transition impact. At the heart of copper's role in the green transition is moving away from an energy system based on hydrocarbons, like oil and gas, to a more sustainable one that uses various sources such as solar, wind, and geothermal power. Copper has the physical properties necessary to transform and transmit these energy sources for various uses, like powering vehicles or heating homes. By analyzing carbon mics across electric vehicles, wind, solar, and battery technology, Goldman Sachs, in their report, has quantified the increasing demand for copper. They have estimated that by 2030, copper demand from this transition will grow by nearly 600% to 5.4 million tons in the base case, and up to 900% to 8.7 million tons in the case of hyper-adoption of green technologies. By the middle of the decade, the growth in green demand alone will be equal and surpass the additional demand China created during the 2000s. This growth will have ripple effects in other sectors, making the 2020s the strongest volume growth phase in global copper demand history. Surely copper is essential, but we know that with high demand comes low supply. The same is happening with copper as there's a looming scarcity. Currently, nearly all the copper in use keeps circulating with only 12% being mined globally. This is enough to produce nearly everything we need. However, there's a growing concern that this might change soon. What if copper becomes scarce? Would it impact our economy like oil does? In May 2021, Goldman Sachs, an investment bank, called copper the new oil and predicted its prices to soar from $9,000 to over $20,000 per ton. Their prediction is grounded in the global shift towards electrification and decarbonization. And we can see this happening with the growing demand for copper. The world is increasingly electrifying and moving towards greener technologies. Copper's affordability as an electrical conductor makes it a top choice for green tech and electric vehicle companies. Giants like BMW and Tesla, which produce electric vehicles, require significant copper for their products. Additionally, installing solar panels and wind turbines demands even more copper. The numbers support this claim by Goldman Sachs, with electric cars needing 83 kilograms of copper compared to 50 pounds in gas cars. On the other hand, companies are also looking to reduce copper use, with Elon Musk announcing changes in Tesla's battery packs. Understandably, power grids are a key consumer of copper, and with the ongoing trend of electrification, their demand is soaring. To transition to renewable energy, we need more copper. For instance, a solar power plant requires 5.5 tons of copper per megawatt of power generation, and windmills need 4.7 tons per megawatt. With these growing demands, we must ensure that copper remains available. And it's just the beginning. In the age of climate action, copper's demand will explode. 
After all, it's not just a metal, it's a critical component in the transition to a greener and more sustainable world. As we shift towards renewable energy sources like solar and wind, copper is the connective tissue that enables these sources to power our lives. The global demand for copper is on the rise, and it's driven by the urgent need to combat climate change and reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. While there is growing concern about a copper shortage, the reality is that we have substantial reserves of copper. The challenge lies in the mining industry and recycling infrastructure's ability to meet the increasing demand. If they can keep up, copper prices will remain stable. However, if they can't, we may need to explore alternatives. In any case, humans have a history of finding solutions to challenges. Thanks to advancements in carbon capture and storage technology, we're entering an era where copper will become a cornerstone in constructing a cleaner and more environmentally sustainable world. The age of copper is upon us, and it's indispensable for securing a brighter, more eco-friendly future for all of us. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more exciting insights on our journey toward a more environmentally conscious world. I'll see you in the next video.